Right, hi guys. Um, I've had a cob request um, to make uh, a video on uh, the grill plate that's got lots of holes in. So basically, so to do some direct grilling. So that's my grill plate that I've modified. Yes, Adam, I've modified my cob. Um, okay, anyway, so uh, we're going to do some direct grilling today. And what we're going to be grilling is uh, just some chicken thighs which have had like I think just just a general rub on them um, not no marinade or anything I'm gonna put some oil on that but um, we're gonna go ahead now and uh, light the coals up as usual the wife will be dismayed when she sees me like the cob on the uh, stove but there you go um, and that's got quite a few heat beads in there but uh, we'll just let that light up for uh, 10 minutes and then we'll be back it does have some used heat beads in I like uh, saving the heat beads from my previous cob because they are quite expensive and also I have to get them posted there's no one who sells them directly so that's why I've always got pre-burnt ones in there plus a few new ones okay so those coals are well lit um, I've turned the stove off I'm just going to put them into the cob. And I think I'm going to, for this uh, cook, I'm going to take the cob outside. Okay, so those coals are well lit. Um, I'm going to put the that on so you can see. You can still see in there. You can see the coals going nicely. Let's put the rack on. And then we'll get the chicken. Right, it's time for the chicken. I've put some uh, uh, chili, olive, chili and garlic olive oil on the chicken as well as the um, spices. So that's going to go on now. And you can see that's quite hot. The fat's actually causing the cob to or the charcoal to catch a light there. So anyway, I'm going to put the lid on now. Right, that's all the smoke from the um, fat dripping down onto the coals and that will give it a lovely uh, barbecue or if you're South African, a braai taste. Okay, it's uh, 10 minutes later, so we're going to have a little look and see at this chicken. But that looks like it's starting to come right. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit of space between them. We'll come back and have a look at that in 10 minutes time. Okay, it's been another 10 minutes so now I'm gonna turn the chicken you know, it's getting nice and crispy. That piece can go in the middle. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this a bit with the lid off. And leave those pieces down. Just let it cook like that for a while. Um, I've got an expansion ring with, which would be ideal for this because it would act as a windshield. I'll see if we can find that now. Right, so if you want to use the cob as an open grill like I am now, um, then you can just use the expansion ring. So that's how it is now. And then just to stop the air from getting right to it, it's quite cold today, um, just put that on and um, you can carry on grilling just like a conventional barbecue. Just a quick note, if you are um, barbecuing with the lid off and just like this, um, and especially if you've got holes in uh, the grill plate like I've made, uh, those coals will supercharge and you'll have to turn the food a bit quicker than every 10 minutes. Otherwise you will end up with very bent food. Okay, so these are just about done. Um, there is something really nice about sitting and listening to fat at the bottom of a fire and let it sizzle away, generating the smoke. It's just a really nice way of cooking. Um, 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, serve these up now and have a look. Okay, so this is how I save my coal. Um, I don't want to waste all that coal that's on there now. So what I do is I'll take the expansion ring off. Um, I'll get rid of the racks. I'll put a piece of foil over it. And I'll put the rack back. And just for a bit of extra weight, I'll put the lid on. And that will extinguish those coals and we can reuse them for later. Okay, so those are the chicken thighs all cooked up. They look fabulous. They've got nice and crispy. And then if you want to have a look, on the inside of one, you can see it's nicely cooked because it had the 20 minutes with the lid on and then just finished off over the coals grilling and it looks fabulous so I can't wait to tuck into these. Alright, thanks for watching.